Good afternoon. We are ready to start the first day. Can you hear me? Anyone? We are about to open the first day of the ENOC meeting. And I'm happy to welcome all of the participants. And I hope more people will be joining us soon. I'll give the floor now to Artem Gavrichenkov, the uh, ENOC program committee chair. Tomo, the stage is yours. Thank you, Taras. My apologies. Probably I'll have to reconnect uh, to be able to share the screen. It'll take like 20 seconds. My apologies. Да, благодарю. Um, okay, I'm uh, добро. Thank you for your patience. Right. Tomo, we can't hear you. Uh, well, now you should be able to hear me. I should, uh, I, well, I hope that, uh, that everything's fine now. Uh, it's the problem that you always get when you are broadcasting online. Apple, Microsoft uh, cares so much about the user security that you have uh, to request a confirmation every time. Anyway, thank you very much and uh, good day. Welcome to the 18th ENOG meeting. Uh, only, uh, we are only two uh, ENOGs away from an anniversary meeting. However, ENOG 18 is still a kind of a milestone event. I will explain what I'm trying to say. You know that last year the plan was that we will be organizing one um, offline and one online meeting a year. We, um, unfortunately, uh, because of the ongoing pandemic, we were unable to organize an offline activity. And until the very last moment, it was still not clear whether um, we would be able to have an uh, offline event. Well, as you can see, it did not happen. Not because uh, there are still certain issues in, in some countries. In uh, uh, Russia, for instance, uh, e e there are already events um, to which thousands of, of people uh, come uh, offline. Uh, but we wouldn't be able to organize proper uh, program uh, even if we were 
uh, to host an offline session, you know that the borders are still clo clo uh, closed, uh, that it's very difficult to travel between the countries, it's still too complicated. And Enoch 18, uh, it's another very uh, traditional format uh, uh, this time uh, when we are holding day sessions instead of several evening time uh, sessions uh, like we did in autumn. But still, we learn from our uh, autumn experience and we try to start the sessions later in the day so that people wouldn't be losing any uh, working time that they can still save during the day and at the same time, uh, so that people will be able to attend uh, ENOG online and offline. And I will say a couple of words about the offline um, option, if you, are, if you still don't know about it, but I'll, I'll uh, talk about it later. We had um, ENOG 16. Here I'm comparing the data uh, with ENOG uh, 16, uh, which we had a year ago. Originally, 335 people registered for ENOG 16, this time 333 people registered. Countries represented 38. It used to be 32 during ENOG 16, and now 76 people already are listening to the broadcast. Uh, hopefully, by the end of the conference, we'll, we'll be able to collect data from remote hubs, the data on attendance, and as soon as we have the numbers, I will uh, share them with you. This is the meeting plan. Uh, starting from 1 p.m. Moscow time, we are having the opening plenary. There will be another plenary session today. And between 5 and 7 p.m. Moscow time, this is Moscow time and Kiev time, there will be a tutorial on RPKI. RPKI is um, a rather hot topic these days and I personally am very ha uh, glad that uh, this is uh, a fact. Tomorrow there will be two plenary sessions. We'll start not at 1 p.m. Moscow and Kiev time but at 3 p.m. Moscow and Kiev time. At 5 o'clock there will be an extended plenary. Uh, it will uh, start with lightning talks and after that there will be a birds of feather uh, session dedicated to the review of the ENOC regulation the rules and procedures that ENOC follows today and will follow in the future and I ask everybody to participate, to be active and to uh, speak your mind, listen to other participants' opinions. I hope, I can't confirm it yet, but I hope that during that uh, slot we'll also have uh, an overview of uh, Enoch's uh, history from one of the founders and uh, members of the program committee. Hopefully we will find, uh, find time during that uh, session uh, tomorrow for such an overview. And generally we uh, want to have a discussion about how we are going to organize our activities uh, from now on, how we are going to hold our uh, meetings, how we are going to organize our work, considering that we hope that in a year's time we'll go back to more normal and we will start having conferences uh, somewhere in the real city, face to face. During the breaks, and we have breaks planned in the agenda, well, um, to be perfectly honest, uh, my idea was to count these breaks to 15 minutes, but we decided against it eventually, because we have 
people um, who are participating in Enoch uh, almost face to face and they will need more time to uh, get over the sessions. And besides, uh, we plan certain activities for these breaks. And the first one uh, will be presented to you in less than an hour and a half. Uh, it will be some uh, a little bit of physical exercise because we uh, spend our time mostly sitting at the tables and we want to give people the opportunity to uh, stretch a little bit, uh, to uh, support uh, people's health. And at uh, 2.45, quarter to 3 Moscow and Kiev time, we are going to have online exercises. We'll be able to uh, stretch and um, to um, uh, re-energize ourselves. So that's uh, physical exercises, but there will be also uh, some intellectual fun during the second break today and tomorrow. Our uh, great quiz master, Gerardo, will be waiting for us and uh, he will host our daily Kahoot quiz on Enog topics and the winner will be receiving the official Enog 18 t-shirt. Next. Uh, okay, what else is important? Uh, we are meeting on uh, June 7 and 8, but uh, this is not the end of um, the event as such. On the 9th of June, uh, we uh, scheduled a RIPE NCC webinar for two hours. We'll be talking about something that's very relevant these days, the IPv6 protocol security. The information I can be found at the Inog18 official website. If you enter the website uh, to the left, you'll be able to see a, um, uh, a section that's called, in English it's called Parallel Events. And in Russian, uh, it's uh, you can find it next, next to the agenda. There's a drop-down menu there. And in uh, Russian is called Pohoshe Sabutia. In English, it's parallel events. All the links are there. The webinar is free. RIPE NCC members can register uh, via the link shown on the slide. If you are not associated with RIPE NCC, if you're not a member, then you should send an email stating your desire to attend the webinar. People are telling me that we've got problems with the sound. Is it true? Session chairs. Uh, can you please verify if we are having any problems with the sound? On YouTube, people are saying, uh, we can hear you uh, perfectly well uh, over Miteco, but people are writing that there are some issues with the sound on YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. We're going to... Uh, fix that. Uh, I'm sure the technical team will be on it immediately. But uh, in any case, my presentation is not the most important one uh, during the day, so we can use this opportunity, use this time slot uh, to fix any issues that we might have uh, with our broadcast. Anyway, finally, one of the most uh, important things. This is not uh, a 100% online event. We've got four uh, remote broadcast hubs where we will be able to assemble a little bit over 200 people in total. The largest hub is in Moscow and we would like to thank DataU and DataRef as well as TCI for hosting 
up to 100 attendees at their site in Moscow. We also have another site in Kiev. It is hosted by Adamant. Uh, thank you very much, Adamant. Uh, they can receive up to 30 attendees. And our session chairs, as far as I understand, for this session are at these two hubs. It would be interesting to hear from them how it feels. St. Petersburg. Oh, we even, we're even receiving a video from Alexander Savin from the Moscow Hub. And we can see a dozen, maybe more than a dozen people there. At least that's uh, how many feet on the camera. In St. Petersburg, the uh, site can be uh, attended up to 50 people. In St. Petersburg, and it does look like a paradox, but in St. Petersburg, our sponsor of this uh, site is MSKIX, the Moscow Internet Exchange. So thank you very much, MSKIX, for receiving us in St. Petersburg. And in Yerevan, Armenia, the uh, site was provided by Internet Society and the Union of Operators of Armenia. And, and at this location, uh, there can be up to 25 attendees. The remote hub participants can also take part in the discussions and send their questions. They can do it, although they are at an offline site. But obviously, uh, these people in the off-site off uh, locations, they have a wonderful opportunities, opportunity for networking. So if you want to uh, get to a remote broadcast hub, uh, then during the registration, you, you can select the hub that uh, you will be attending. Uh, this is necessary uh, for the organizers to be able to uh, schedule the presence and, uh, you know, that uh, coronavirus uh, lockdown measures are still pretty strict. Uh, the uh, locations are being monitored. We wouldn't be able to admit an infinite number of people at any given uh, site. Um, you will be uh, receiving the addresses after you register. And you can travel to these locations at any time during these two days. Uh, Russian and English uh, simultaneous translation is being uh, provided. I am speaking in Russian right now, but if you are hearing me in English, it means that the simultaneous interpreter is working. The sessions are being recorded, um, and we are also broadcasting on YouTube. Hopefully, we have already fixed the sound issue there. You can send your questions either to the chat. You can uh, type in the chat. Our session chairs uh, read the chat all the time. Or in Miteco, you can uh, uh, use a voice. You can enable your microphones and even your cameras. Please make sure that you are not having any problems with the mic like I did at the start of this session. And also, if you are taking the floor or if you are asking a question, please state your name and your affiliation. Uh, the organization to which you belong, be it a for-profit or a not-for-profit institution. Please do not forget to introduce yourselves. Another important matter, our program committee uh, reviews all the feedback that we are getting from uh, our past events, so I'm uh, asking all the participants all that and these to rate the presentations you can do it at the agenda page there is a special button there called rate you can rate the presentations you can rate the speakers you can leave your comments or feedbacks or questions what well, questions uh, questions um better be sent uh online but all your positive feedback negative feedback anything that you might have to say say on the subject or on the about the presentation uh please uh, do not hesitate to leave your comments I also wanted to thank RIPE NCC for the online uh, site. Uh, RIPE NCC is our official host 
um, the official host of this conference. I also wanted to thank our sponsor, the Internet Society, and our media partners uh, that you see listed on the slide. Once again, I wanted to thank our remote broadcast hubs, MSK, X, uh, TCI, uh, .ru, .rf, CCTLD, and the Union of uh, Operators of Armenia, ISOC.am, and Adamant. I hope I didn't miss anyone. And finally, Last but not least, I wanted to thank the program committee of Inog 18. As always, uh, well, usually uh, if it were an offline conference, we would be inviting the members of the program committee to the stage. Uh, it's not possible right now, but I still wanted to express our gratitude to everyone who was involved in preparing the program, in inviting the speakers, in working with the presentations. And I also wanted to uh, emphasize, especially, that this year we expect a, a renewal of the program committee. Uh, we will be inviting new members to join. A renewal is a uh, very important. It helps uh, big communities such as uh, RIBE or NOGS, ENOG to develop. And I hope that somewhere in early autumn, maybe in mid autumn, we will be announcing vacancies in the program committee and we'll start preparing ENOG 19 that we really, really hope to be holding offline together with the new participants. If you have any questions to me, then I will be very happy to answer them. Again, you can send your questions offline or uh, online. I'm uh, reading now a message that uh, our Russian uh, sound on YouTube is back and hopefully it will not disappear again. So once again, you can either enable your own microphones in a minute echo, you can request the floor here, or you can type your questions in the chat. Thank you very much for joining our virtual meeting today. Taras? Well, Tioma, thank you very much for this opening speech. You are ahead of the schedule, actually. You haven't exhausted the time slot allocated 